in this video we are going to see what built-in potential is in a pn injection driver and how it is derived and what its value is and from previous videos we have seen how a band diagram looks for a pn injection diode under thermal equilibrium is and for now we are going to derive it under thermal equilibrium okay and we have seen initially when we bring this two neutral p and n materials together then we have seen due to the charge concentration gradient the electrons from n side flow to the p side and holes from the p side flow to the n side as a result there is uncovered charge okay it is called depletion charge which is fixed in the lattice which is immobile and due to which there is an electric field built up and it opposes further flow of the charge carriers due to diffusion okay and due to this electric field present there will be drift current and this drift current will be equally compensated by the diffusion current due to the concentration gradient and as a result the current net current flowing through the diode will be zero as it is under thermal equilibrium and it is an open circuit <coughs> right or even if you connect in closed loop okay or short p and n side of the terminals of the p n junction diode and if it is in thermal equilibrium there won't be any current flowing through it okay now <coughs> in this case due to this finite electric field built up at the junction the energy band diagram is going to look like this and if you look at the difference between these levels okay in electron volts this energy difference level will be equal to the difference between these two okay these two and even between these two if you take how much this ei has changed over the x this difference <coughs> and the potential is not important if you are specifying it at a particular point only if you specify it across two points and the difference between the potentials across those two points then the potential has some meaning okay now the potential across the pn junction is going to be this amount which we are showing here and marking with a tick mark across this brackets okay this value is going to be the potential difference across this p and n junction this is known as built in potential because <coughs> initially if if initially there was no potential difference when these two p n junction p n materials were brought together that time electrons from this n type material were freely going to that side as a result the energy of this p type material has increased electron energy so the band diagram shifts upward as a result the potential barrier is built here okay as a result these electrons can't flow anymore so that is the reason why we call this as built in potential or potential barrier for this majority carriers to flow to the other side even here this holes can't flow to the side because the potential barrier is high okay this is electron energy with respect to we have plotted okay so the whole energy will be in the reverse direction so that's the reason why holes can't go this side because they need more energy to go this side right now if you see this difference which we are indicating it here right this difference is equal to this difference which is uh, let me write this e f minus e i okay in n side plus e i minus e f in p side this will be equal to built up potential in you can say it as e b i but okay you can write this as v b i in electron volts okay now we know that e f minus e i is okay let me write this here n equals n i times e power we are writing this again and again okay e f minus e i over k t right and p equals n i times e power e i minus e f over k t now if you see e f minus e i we can write this as k t ln of n d by n i because this n we are taking this equation in n side and we are taking this equation in p side okay 
so for this equation if you write it will be ln ln of na over ni <coughs> okay now we substitute this equation here and this equation here we will come to know that vbi built in potential will be equal to kt ln of nd by ni plus kt ln of na by ni okay now if we take this in volts then we divide this with charge of electron which is q now we will have this as kt over q which is common in both these two terms and we can write this as ln of nd na over ni square fine this is the built in potential of this pn junction diode this is a very important equation and remind you this equation is not derived by taking any assumptions like we are not taking even depletion approximation assumption so this equation is directly concluded from this without any assumptions so this is going to be a very accurate equation fine <clears throat> and we can rewrite this in other forms too okay now let's see p type and n type now let's take in neutral region what is the p value p we say pp not okay pp0 zero. 0 indicates thermal equilibrium and p indicates the type of material in which you are considering and this p indicates the holes now you can write np0 which means minority carrier electrons in p type under thermal equilibrium similarly we can write nn0 and pn0 and nn0 is nothing but n d pp0 here is n a and nn np0 is n i square or n a and pn0 is n i square or n d now if we substitute these equations into this and rewrite this equation we can rewrite this in different forms suppose i can rewrite this in log of n n not over n p not okay you can try this out and we can write this also in this form p p not or n p not it means the majority carriers electrons in n type to minority carriers electrons in p type and here the ratio is between the holes in majority carriers in p type to the oops sorry this is p n not okay this is minority carriers holes in n type okay <clears throat> these equations are also important because we are going to encounter them when we are deriving the diode current equation okay